everybody, it's Rob here. We're doing the news live from Cannes, and I'm really excited because we have Krista Carone, who is the president of Infilion Media. Krista, thanks for doing this with us again. Thank you. Great to see you again. Great to see you. Um, and so, how's your Cannes been so far? Productive, which is great for day one. So, you know, we always talk about the importance of these networking meetings, but when those networking conversations turn into potential revenue generation, you're like, oh, now I remember why I'm here. Totally. So, better what, than the rosé is when you can bring home some <laughs> IOs. <laughs> and, and, uh, uh, totally. I mean, of course, we're here to do business, right? We are. We're here to do business. Yes. And what do, you, what do you have going on? I know you have some big activations. Right. So, we are, we're partnering with a number of other companies in, in the advertising and the technology space to have conversations, one, about inclusion. So Infilion is sponsoring the Inclusion Cafe at Cannes this year. We have had a number of panel programming around the importance of investing not only in DEI, but the importance of inclusion in our industry. Mm -hmm. And then equally important is we're really trying to elevate the conversation around putting consumers first mm -hmm. in the ecosystem of our industry. So what does that look like? As marketers, we always talk about customer first, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure that we're always really acting on it because our approach has always been to spray and pray and send you our messaging. Um, but do consumers really always want that? So that's where we're trying to turn the dial a bit. I mean, it's 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 super aligned with things that we're thinking about. So, you know, we, we've been asking the question, we talked to brands and we're starting to hear this concept of brand safety and digital safety used to be very much a back of the, you know, back of the bus, back of the business kind of conversation where, um, you know, if the brand safety officer came knocking on your door to brand, you went to hide, mm -hmm. right? And, and, you know, and now the, the, Brand safety officer is is actually becoming much more prevalent inside of these organizations yeah. because it has to be incorporated in in the so that's operationally. Mm -hmm. um, the question that we're starting to ask is, when is it the right time for brands to educate their consumers on how they're helping to protect them online? So what do you, what do you think? I'd love to say that the time is now and that that should have always been a responsibility of brands as we become increasingly more of a digital first society brands in my mind have even more responsibility to be educating the consumers on a what they're doing with their data and b being mindful about where they're placing their marketing so it's in mediums and against content that is reputationally safe not only for the brand but also appropriate for the audiences who they're trying to attract and, and where do you see is where how are they doing I would say if we were grading our industry, and I'm part of the industry you are, I think that we're at maybe a solid C plus mm -hmm. here, but we can be doing a lot more. And where's the what, where's the low hanging fruit for improvement? Like, what are the things we should be doing right now? Well, certainly, consumer consent on privacy opt in is being forced more on the regular on the regulatory environment, right? So we're not necessarily taking the lead as an industry. We're waiting for governments to tell us what we need to do mm -hmm. in that space. That's fine, so we're being a bit reactive and we're starting to see some improvements in opt-in regulation. I think we can be doing a better job of informing consumers what the implications or the consequences are mm -hmm. of their choice of opting in and actually showing a consumer when you opt in a to either watch an advertisement or to share your data with us that we're going to give you a service in exchange for that. Here's what we're doing with your data and being a lot more descriptive and precise on the usage of the privacy that I'm choosing to share with you. And, and how's the uptake on it? Like, have the consumers said to you, we like this, love it? What's that arc look like? And, and what does that communication look like? We've done some research on this. And what we do know is that if you're providing a service back to consumers, they're willing to share more information with mm -hmm. you. And we have researched this repeatedly within our organization, our company, because our whole value proposition is built on value exchange. Mm -hmm. We will serve this ad for you. If you agree to watch the ad, in return, the rest of your content will be ad-free. Yeah. Something along those lines. Or if you share your data with us, we're going to be able to provide you with discount codes when you get closer to, let's say, a CVS, and you've downloaded the CVS and app and shared your location data. So net-net, provide a monetizable or a material service back to the consumer, mm -hmm. and they're willing to share a bit more information about themselves. 
Interesting. I mean, interesting. You know, the flip side of it is we we heard uh, in, in in our conversations that ten percent of brands uh, are embracing the what they need to be doing like a cutting edge of data protection. Mm -hmm. So so brands are so early, but at the same time, consumers are saying that if you if you protect my data, I will actually do will more with you. you why, why you I will give you more data yeah. if you provide me with a service back, and that's where eventually we will start to see a tighter integration between advertising and consumer experience, yeah. right? So where do those roles sit within organizations right now? How closely integrated are they? But once that starts to be less siloed and more where you have marketers starting from a place of consumer experience, mm -hmm. we may start to see more improvement there. Sounds good. Well, let's work together and uh, explain to yeah. people. Yeah, that's yeah? great. Good. Thank, Thank you. you. That was great. Uh, that's the news, Life and Can.